this is a really cool little addition to the brewery. Um, you will have come across, no doubt, the tilt hydrometer and also possibly the eye spindle. I've got an eye spindle kit somewhere upstairs, but I've decided my arthritic fingers are such that I don't really want to be wielding a soldering iron. So this is the same principle as, I guess, the eye spindle and the tilt. It's slightly bigger than both of those, so I'm figuring I'm going to get less issue with the actual tilt mechanism being affected by the Krausen, dried Krausen. It's got an 18650 battery in here. I've got a bit of lunch stuck between my teeth. If I sound like I'm sucking my teeth, it's probably because I am. So it's got a rechargeable 18650. In here, there's a little charging socket USB. And then there is the freeway switch, free position switch. In the middle, it is offed. Over to this side, it is on and working. And on this side, it is in setup mode. Once fully charged, I really wish I hadn't just had my lunch before making a video. When it's fully charged, you simply slip it into setup mode. And then on your phone, you go to your Wi-Fi connections and you connect to it. And from there you add your email address and that's pretty much about it. It then resets, you connect to your um, uh, own home or office Wi-Fi uh, and then go on to their website where you will find your new float hydrometer waiting for you. Now, a couple of things I like. One, it uses a standard 18650 rechargeable battery. Not that I think I'd ever be able to get that out to replace place it but still quite good I like the idea that they give you a spare cap because the caps are sort of fairly basic they're not really massively heavy duty it's simple to set up this is now the second one I've bought as you can see from top of the box uh, I've got one in a brew let's go and have a look uh, what it's like on their website. Having registered your new float, it'll send you a email. And very basic, just says, someone use your email address. This is your float. This is the float um, serial number. So you click on here to go and have a look at your floats. And here are our floats. This is the one I've just registered. This is the one that I've been using for a while. So the one that I've just registered can go and start measuring. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, I'll change its name later. Um, over here, this is where it will tell us the temperature it's recording. Quite warm in here today. Uh, the rest you can kind of like disregard because it's currently lying on its side. Uh, if I did have that as my uh, starting gravity, I think I'd have some rather nice BS there. So if you click on brews. This is the brew that I already have going. It also shows you other people's brews as well. If we just go back. Um, you can make your brews public, the amount of these that you see, float test. Uh, or you can keep them private, or you can add them to your own little group, etc. This is the one that I uh, started last Saturday, so this is six days in now. Very simple. It's Wi-Fi is exceptionally good. Um, it's inside a metal fridge away from the router. 
and it, down here it tells you the quality of signal, not bad. Uh, it tells you the voltage of the battery. It looks like a battery goes down quite a lot until you realise that the scale over here is, is kind of very, very um, sort of like tight specification on there. Um, it's telling me that the specific gravity of this NEPA is 1.012 uh, and it's 19 degrees in the fermentation fridge. You can zoom in pretty much on any of these times and these recordings. What's also really cool is you can look at just the raw data and you could import this into any of your uh, other uh, brewing uh, analytical tools or a spreadsheet or whatever. Um, you can show that same raw data but in a table. So this is very much kind of, I guess, pretty much the same as the tilt. Um, there are odd bits where it skips measurements. That's just fair enough. Okay, I can live with that, you know. Um, and overall, for 120 quid, I think it's, I think it's a bargain. Uh, yeah, you can also download the um, the, the raw data file. Um, you can add notes down here as you're going along. I just put pretty much the whole of the recipe in here. Um, I like it. It's a nice, simple basic yet useful little gadget. I think the tilt hydrometer retails for about 150. This at 120, I think it was within it was within my range of what I'd be prepared to pay for a toy. Um, so yes. They're also uh, quite responsive. I, I sent them an email yesterday saying is it possible to have, as you'll see down here, the time offset is slightly out compared to my computer? Uh, can we have uh, 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 the ability to have local time and, and adjust the time a little bit? And they said, well, we haven't got that facility at the moment, but we're going to be trying to introduce it in August. So, yeah, they're, they're a nice enough bunch to deal with. Based in Amsterdam, what more can you say? This is my my floats screen and over here are my floats i've renamed the new one float 2 this is the brew i have just done that this very day which is uh, the replacement for the raspberry half of ice and uh, quite simple you go you can either go to brews or my floats uh, if we um, have a quick look in brews, it shows you some other people's ones as well. This is today's, mine today's. This is from last Saturday. And it takes a, a, a few minutes just to kind of like get in and stabilise. But this down here is what we are interested in. Current temperature 23.31. I'm going to let that drop just down uh, a degree and a bit to 22 before I pitch me yeast in. The um, post-boil gravity is 10487. Pre-boil was 1041, 2, something like that. Uh, so here we have batteries stable, as you would bloody well hope. We have um, the, uh, the, the um, gravity, um, after you chuck the float in, it moves around obviously a little bit, but the gravi gravity stabilised to what we know it to be. It seems to have coped with a reasonably high Krausen very well. I love this. There's nothing quiet as fulfilling as being stood watching you blow off. Full disclosure, I have not been incentivated to make this video 
by anybody at all. I bought those two floats myself as a purchasing consumer. I'll put a link here to where I bought it from in the UK. I'll also put a link here to the guys in the Netherlands. Just a quick observation before I dive into this is that earlier I was checking the temp on float two and it said 23.5 degrees. I thought, blimey, that's not right. So I checked on the ink bird and the ink bird said 22 degrees. Ooh. So when I had a little look, I'm like a, like a pillock. I hadn't actually attached the temperature probe to the fermentation vessel. So as soon as I did that, um, with a little bit of insulation, obviously the ink bird picked up the correct temperature and turned the fridge on. So even within 24 hours, uh, it's actually proved itself to be a useful tool. As indeed is this. All right, if you found this useful, please feel free to share it amongst all your brewing friends. Please feel free to subscribe to my little channel here. It's a quiet little, little affair. Just a few friends get together and watch the nonsense that I post. Until next time, cheers.